So the question is, how do I apply the principles of my book, You Are Brilliant, to my own life? And without going through the whole book and those type things, because it's something which I hope you experience and perhaps after you experience it, we can talk about it in a one-on-one coaching session or at a workshop or something like that. I want to tell you what it means to me. Um, I wrote You Are Brilliant based on the children's book. um, A Light is Born, Seven Ways to Show Your Brilliance. And that came about because my niece was going to be born And as her aunt, I wanted to give her seven principles for which she could live. And those included love, be patient and kind, respect yourself and others, show good character, be a willing student, practice personal care, and put God first. Those are the principles or the foundation for you are brilliant. And I felt if she got those things, she could have a really amazing life. I don't know if you're familiar with the seven habits of highly effective people, but it was by um, Stephen Covey. And um, I was fortunate enough to be able to travel the world and teach the seven habits of highly effective people to people in corporations and organizations and things. And what I found is that if we could just get one of those seven things and do them very, very well, we would all have better lives. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't know very much about the seven habits. And I felt if people understood there were ways to shine by realizing what love is, our lives could be so much better. Or showing good character, our lives could be so much better. For example, showing good character um, in the children's book is illustrated by um, the little son getting the key to the city. Can you imagine being given the key to the city by the mayor because you did something so great or your life was so amazing or the amount of service you gave to others meant so much that you received the key to the city. I think that's powerful and amazing. So I say all that to say that these principles to me are based on gratitude and about some common concepts, which a lot of times we forget in our day-to-day life because life gets hard and we're hurt and we lose hope. But if we can remember to love ourselves and others, to be patient and kind to ourselves and others, to respect ourselves and others, to show good character, whether someone's in the room or not, to be a willing student, no matter how old we are and no matter whether it's in the classroom or life, to practice personal care, including going to the doctors and the dentists and washing your hands and uh, wiping your face and pulling up your pants and putting God first. We can truly make it. So I'm going to end this with a prayer that begins the book. You are brilliant. Seven ways to shine. And this is what it really means to me. Thank you, God. Thank you for loving us unconditionally. Thank you for loving us for who we are and for who we are not. Thank you for keeping our lights burning, even when we begin to dim and for being the shelter, shadow, shade, and sufficiency in which we live, move, and have our being. Thank you for allowing us to reside in you, and for being the guide, hope, springs, and source through whom we shine. In the name and nature of Jesus Christ, amen. That's what you are brilliant really means, and that's how I apply it to my life. Even when I begin to dim, even when I become scared, Even when I am tempted to lose hope, I ask God for help and I thank him for loving me unconditionally. I hope this helps you. This is Jolena Johnson. What do you think?